Let's now bring you the facts you need to know about the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, on our Ministry Agencies and Parasitals in Focus segment. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, was inaugurated on the 29th of September 2000 following the recommendation of former President Olusha Gwobasanjo. The mandate is to receive and investigate reports of corruption and, in appropriate cases, prosecute the offenders to examine, review and enforce the correction of corruption-prone systems and procedures of public bodies with a view to eliminating corruption in public life and to educate and enlighten the public on and against corruption and related offenses with a view to enlisting and fostering public support for the fight against corruption. The Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Act 2000 governs the committee's activities. The mandate of the ICPC is to prohibit and prescribe punishment for corrupt practices and other related offenses and the duties of the commission include to receive and investigate complaints from members of the public on allegations of corrupt practices and in appropriate cases prosecute the offenders to examine the practices, systems and procedures of public bodies and where such systems aid corruption to direct and supervise their review, to instruct, advise and assist any officer, agency or parastatal on ways by which fraud or corruption may be eliminated or minimized by them, to advise heads of public bodies of any changes in practice, systems or procedures compatible with effective discharge of the duties of public bodies to reduce the likelihood or incidence of bribery, corruption and related offences, to educate the public on and against bribery, corruption and related offences, to enlist and foster public support in combating corruption. With respect to the prosecution of cases, the Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Act 2000 provides that every prosecution for offences under it shall be deemed to be done with the consent of the Attorney General. Furthermore, it is provided that the Chief Judge of a State or the Federal Capital Territory shall designate a court or judge to hear and determine all cases arising under the Act. Presently, there are two such designated judges in each state of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. The motto of the ICPC is to educate the public on and against bribery, corruption and related offences. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission ICPC is currently under the able leadership of the Chairman, Professor Bolaji Onasanoye-san.